In Germany, 25 members of a far-right terrorist organization were arrested on suspicion of plotting to overthrow the government. I'm Yasmin Khan with The Breakdown, and the German Attorney General had this to say on the matter, quote, The defendants belong to a terrorist organization founded no later than the end of November 2021, which has set itself the goal of overcoming the existing state order in Germany and replacing it with its own form of state. Currently, about 52 people are being investigated for connections to the plot, and the movement is said to have been inspired by none other than QAnon. The 25 arrests followed a series of raids that were executed in 11 of Germany's 16 states, Austria, and Italy. Among those involved are an active member of Germany's Special Forces Command, a former alt-right German MP, and a royal descendant who believes that the monarchy should be reinstated. Now, this royal, Prince Heinrich XIII, has allegedly been trying to make contact with sympathetic parties in Moscow, but it's unclear as to how successful he's been in doing so. According to reports, the group's aim is to overthrow the existing government, which they believe is actually a corporation that was set up by the Allies following World War War II. They want to assassinate various political and social figures, and they want to put in place a new form of authoritarian government. Allegedly, they've even worked out the details of this new government, and seeing themselves as revolutionaries, they understand that violence will be necessary in order for them to achieve their goals. Now, predictably, many of those involved have histories of actively opposing COVID restrictions and vaccine mandates, which is comparable to what we've experienced here in our own country. There has also been an alarming rise in crime against politicians and infrastructure in Germany. In 2019, a local politician was killed by right-wing extremists, and there was an attempt to attack a synagogue. And the blatant anti-Semitism on display in Germany of all places is pretty horrifying because we all know where that can lead. Additionally, during the pandemic, a plot was thwarted to kidnap the nation's health minister, as well as to trigger power outages. So you don't have to be a political commentator or analyst or historian to see the parallels between what just happened in Germany and what's been happening in our own country. For years, we've seen indications that right-wing ideas and talking points are being systematically packaged and shipped around the world, and we've seen the same propaganda tactics utilized across borders to spread dangerous ideologies further and further. QAnon specifically its proliferation and the fact that it has as many followers as it does is not a uniquely American belief system. If anything, it's a response to a global society that is hopeless and desperate to find meaning where there seemingly isn't any. We all want a solution to whatever is wrong in the world, to why we all feel so empty, to why we're all so afraid. And conveniently, QAnon shows up and tells you exactly what it is that's operating in the background that's making us all so miserable. QAnon points fingers and tells us who to blame for our problems. And while the proposed solutions involve mass movements of people and ideas, the solution is relatively simple. Scrap everything and start over. And that's a very seductive idea. We can all be a little anarchistic at times. No one loves incrementalism, and sometimes things really are too broken. Sometimes things really are beyond repair. But problems like the ones we face today are not isolated from one another. They're all connected and they all impact each other. Proposed solutions can't possibly address all of them all at once, and fixing one thing might mean damaging something else. There is no magic bullet, there is no Thanos glove, there is no fake right wing prince or billionaire real estate developer who's going to fix everything. Right-wing activists, I'm assuming, believe they figured it all out to the extent that they've Dunning-Kruger themselves into believing that they have the solutions to the world's biggest problems. They are mistaken at best and deeply dangerous at worst. Any ideology or solution that involves hating entire groups of people is small-minded and fear-driven. These activists or terrorists, whichever term you prefer, will not save us. All right, that's it for me. If you got anything out of this, please like and subscribe and be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thanks.